So you need to open your virtual box and uh, follow the menu book to set up your environment. And then you're gonna enter the virtual machine on your computer. You can open the terminal here. And uh, what we want to achieve is by running your code, you need to use sudo python and your code name. Here is traceroute.py. And the argument will be the, uh, the address it's the IP address you're trying to pin, or the domain name, doesn't matter. Say uh, we want to pin Facebook. Okay, we want to pin facebook.com. After running this, it will show you, because you increase your TTL one by one, so you will get uh, the IP information of each route along the path, so here uh, you can write, show it in this way, like a one hop away to this router, two hops away to this router, all the way until a certain hops away to this server, and this server will give you a pin reply. So it's done. So we can know there are 13 hops from your computer to the nearest the server of facebook.com. And we also can list the IP address of each router until the IP address of the server along this path. Okay, so that's the final result you need to show for this project. As how to achieve it, you need to read the uh, instruction First, you need to know uh, how to sniff the information or, or we say read the information from a receiving packet. Here it provides you a sniff, a sniff Python algorithm. So here is the code, it's very simple. By using scapy.all, by using this packet, okay, uh, in Python. So this scapy packet include all kinds of functions for the network operation. So here, basically, we just use this method, sniff, and set a filter, okay? And then you can sniff any incoming packets. And also, you can put a callback function here saying here our callback is show okay show so we will show all the information uh, in our sniffed packet otherwise you can use any other callback functions here so what the sniff this method did is to store all the informations in the receiving packets into this variable into the pkt into this variable okay let's quit Quit this algorithm and uh, another uh, algorithm you need to use is how to uh, construct how to construct a packet. Say here we want to construct a packet and send it. You need to first construct the IP layer since there's no payload, so we can simply do it in this way. And then we also need to construct the IP headers. You can specify what is the source IP address, what's the destination IP address, and also you can set the TTL, right? And then the SAMP, we encapsulate it in this way. The SAMP encapsulated into the IP layer with the IP header, right? your packet has this source IP address, this destination IP address, and your packet has TTL as one. And then you can send this packet by using the send method. Okay, send this packet. So the packet will be sent and uh, directed to this destination. But because your TTL is one, it will immediately expire. So the first router will send you a reply and you can use the sniff method to read that reply. And in that reply packet, you can get 
the, the address, right, the IP address of that router. To put them together, I can give you uh, one step before the final algorithm called wait, uh, send and wait, I'm sorry. Send and send and wait. In this algorithm, we use host to represent your given arguments. Okay, so here the host, uh, what in the demo we just showed is facebook.com, right? If you use google.com, then it will also be stored in the host. So print sending ping request to this host. And then we need to construct our ping request. All you need to do is use the default IP packets using this host as your destination. And because you send this pin request, so you don't need to, it by default, the source address will be your IP address because it's a ICMP, right, same way. But you don't need to include this in your real code, right? This is just a for example. So after you construct the pin request or echo request packet, you send it and uh, wait for the reply. But here you can use another method called SR1. So this R SR1 means after sending this packet, we capture the first reply and store it in a variable. So here we will store the first captured reply after sending your, your construct packet pin request and store it to reply packet. Okay. And if, right, if the reply packet is none, you can print this. And else if the reply packet has the type zero, means this is an echo reply. And that means it arrived at the destination. You can just show this reply packet or else you can print destination unreachable. But here you can see we didn't set the TTL. So the TTL by default is 255, okay, 255. So what you need to do is based on this code, okay, build your own code to achieve the objective of our project. Our project is we increase the TTL one by one to record the IP address of each router. So here with this, at least you need to use a, use a while loop, right? And in each loop, you need to increase your TTL by one, wait and see whether you can receive the reply or not. And if it's an echo reply, that means it's arrived at the destination. Otherwise, if it's other replies, you can read the packet and to see what's the source IP address. That source IP address would be the routers who send this error reply, right? So you need to revise this code, revise this code uh, to achieve our trace route purpose. So let's let's quit and uh, and check the demo again, okay? It's a uh, we call it a trace route, and uh, this time let's use another uh, host. We want to pin, uh, say, Google.com or let's see Amazon.com because I never tried this one. Amazon.com, okay. Oh, it only needs ten hops, right? So it's closer than the Facebook server. So after running it, it will first print trace route host, right? And it will print. So this must be the you know one of the if condition in the while loop. If you receive an error message from a router, then you print one hops away and print the IP address of that router from the packet you received. Right, and keep going 
until not an error packet, but uh, you received a uh, echo reply whose type is zero in that if condition, then your print, uh, oops, sorry, it's oops. So it means what? It didn't reach, it didn't reach Amazon.com, it seems. There is something wrong, <laughs> okay. So let's try another one. Uh, let's see, google.com. Okay, so once you receive the uh, packet with type zero, SMP packet with type zero, that means it's an SMP echo reply, means it finally reaches the host. So you can print done. No need to be exactly the same as this, but uh, should be similar. Okay, your code should have this similar result. But also it depends on where you are, right? It may be different. Uh, sometimes some students who lived in Houston or who lived in Austin, even to do the trace route to the same host, you will get a different result. That's about the project. There are several commands you can use. For example, f config. You can check your own IP address, and uh, you can use Control C to stop a pin request, and you can also use Clear to clear your screen. And when you need to run some program with the root privilege, root privilege, you need to use sudo something. Okay. Uh, also, uh, you can change it back. Uh, I'm sorry. Change it back to the root, or you change it uh, to a given directory. Say here it's in lab one, right? So you are, you can create, save, and run your Python code in a specific folder. So here, what I used is lab one. You can also make a directory. And as to how to uh, create Python code, for example, you can use Nano or VIM. There are different ways 